paying rent is someone else getting rich off of you. Owning a home is not only a dream, but an empowerment. United Capital Lending. Capitalize on your dreams. Find out how, right now, here on Mortgage Matters. Brought to you by United Capital Lending with Roger McGee and Mike Raines. Call in with your questions at 865-243-8255. That's 243-TALK. Now, here are your hosts, Roger and Mike, with Mortgage Matters. That's a nice way to start off the show with a little rock and roll. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mortgage Matters. Brought to you by United Capital Lending. My name is Roger McGee. I'm the host of the show today. In the studio joining me, we have a couple folks from United Capital Lending and a, and a special guest. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Ken Whelan from United Capital. Ken, welcome back. It's been a couple weeks off. How have your last couple weekends been, brother? It's been good, but I've missed you all. I really missed the show, Roger. Thank you for getting I know you do. I know you mean that genuinely I because really it's just so awesome in here every single saturday it is uh but yeah we miss you too glad to have you back we have miss anna whitworth from united capital good morning anna good morning welcome back to the show it's been a while it has it's been a minute it's been a few minutes actually and we have miss whitney nicely with whitney buys houses.com whitney good morning thanks for having me today fantastic to have you and uh, we look forward to talking a little bit uh, later on with you and finding out what's going on in your business world and how how what you do for a living helps bridge gaps for families and home uh, potential homeowners here in the marketplace and uh, so folks you're tuned into mortgage matters brought to you by knox talk radio 94.3 wnfz brought to you by also united capital lending at unitedcapitallending.com well, you can just go to that website and you can find out all the information you need to to begin the first steps in buying a home for the very first time. Or you can find the information you need to make a determination of whether or not refinancing is a good thing for you. I've got calculators on our website that you can actually take the information that you currently have and compare it with today's current market situation and find out, will it save you money or will it not? And uh, that's a useful tool. You don't even have to speak to anybody. Most of the time, however, you have a question that, that maybe is unique to you. Most people are like your, your fingerprint. Everybody has a different story. Everybody has a different situation. So what we offer there on the website is just a link. You just can ask a quick question. No uh, strings attached. No holds barred. You ask your question. It gets emailed directly to me. And I'll get you the answer to your question. And if it leads to a, a series of uh processes after that and you end up with a set of house keys in your hand so be it if not you get your question answered uh, in very easy manner so our phone number that you can reach us also is 865-934-1400 865-934-1400 and again you can reach us online at unitedcapitallending.com uh, let's see uh, we're going to talk first with Kenny this morning but before we go there I want to just tell you a couple things that I, I want to caution you on we've been talking for literally years now about interest rates increasing and you know the Fed is beginning to make that move we see them moving in that direction right now and I don't think it's going to be anything massive uh, we just saw the rates kind of pull back today you know we're seeing this bounce situation going on and folks i'm telling you by the end of this year you're going to see higher interest rates so if you're sitting out there on the fence about buying a house today's the day if you're sitting on the fence about looking at a refinance today's the day because those who wait for the for the last minute you're going to just miss that so uh there's a tremendous difference in buying power from from going uh, just a quarter point higher half a point higher it can make a really different a really big difference in your in your result and how much home you can actually afford so with that uh, we're going to go ahead and segue into uh, a, a conversation with mr ken wheeling our our reverse mortgage specialist at united, united capital lending ken i know you've been out for the last couple weekends uh doing some family stuff but tell us what's been happening lately with your business and with your clients well roger it uh where to begin uh we've had a number of different uh uh, avenues that uh, reaching out to clients with the financial planners, um, real estate agents, uh, teaching them about uh, reverse for purchase. And that is a big one that uh, they do not know much about, but it is coming this way. And with that, uh, we'll go a little further. I had the opportunity to play golf with uh, some friends that invited me to Tennessee National. And the uh, sales manager down there uh, is from Florida. He spent 25 years in the industry down there, and I had mentioned that to him, and it was like a no-brainer. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, reverse purchase. They've been doing it in Florida for years and years and years. It's a fantastic product, a great uh, alternate avenue for financing for uh, a senior. Well, let's break that down to the to the bare bones. What is exactly a reverse for purchase? Well, reverse for purchase is, is uh, uh, once again, uh, somebody retires and comes down to Florida with, let's say they cashed out in uh, Chicago $600,000, and they're coming down there and looking for a uh, $200,000 property. Well, the financial planner gets nervous and jerky when you want to take any money out of that uh, 600 grand, spend two. Well, actually, then uh, let's say they, they qualify for somewhere between 55 and 80%, so let's just use 70. So if they qualify for 70% because of their age, and that would be 140, so they would bring 60,000 plus closing costs to the table instead of 200,000. So that's what it amounts to. So instead of putting like the typical 5% down, 20% down, whatever, you're going to put just a larger chunk. Like in this case, 40, did you say 40? Around 40, 40 in closing cost, and you will not have a mortgage payment. So the mortgage payment is eliminated, but you're still responsible for your property taxes, your insurance, and any uh, homeowners association dues that may be applicable. Applicable. It's mm-hmm. a tough word this this yeah. morning, uh, but so that's a that's a fantastic option because you can still keep a lot of that money invested, uh, if you will. And well, one hundred one hundred sixty thousand stays in the account, making you money. And and let's go one step further. People really have a hard time with this. The house is in your name. And the house will stay in your name. The bank doesn't get the house when you die. Do so, people really still have a problem? They with really that do. I, I I'd run into that a couple different times, and I was really kind of flabbergasted that people really don't. It's kind of like, where's the P? Yeah, you know, we know it's too good to be true, and we all know something's too good to be true. It's it's not predominantly, and a lot of cases the shoe doesn't fit with a uh, reverse mortgage for a lot of people. And but when it does, it fits nicely. It certainly does. Let's run with that same scenario just for a minute. Let's say okay, uh, Bob and Susie they retire from Chicago. They move down with their six hundred thousand uh, dollars. They they put the forty or fifty percent down, mm-hmm. and they're now controlling this piece of real estate here in Tennessee or Florida, wherever it happens to be. Sure. And let's say down the road they decide you know what we want to sell this house can they sell the house absolutely let's the say, house is yours let's say down the road they say you know what let's let's stop doing this reverse mortgage thing can we just refinance it into a regular loan can you do that you can refinance it to a regular loan you can make the payments you can make the interest payments so the so the it doesn't grow it stops wherever it's at just make the interest payment each month but I ask these people when we go through this, you can do all these scenarios. You can sell the house, you can make the payments, you can pay it down. There's no penalty whatsoever. You can make the interest payment to keep it from growing. But if you're gonna do any of these scenarios, let's just look at it and maybe why are you doing this to start with? Because this is not max amount, maximizing the program, okay. if you will. Now, Kenny, before the show, you were telling me about a guy or a gal or a couple, I'm not sure, I don't remember that sure, part, sure. That, but they have a special situation. They're gonna be putting some money into their property in order to qualify for the reverse mortgage. Now, that's not a purchase scenario that you were talking about. Is that a refinance? Uh, yes, they did. they could have done a reverse uh, for purchase. They didn't know about it, but they found out about the reverse mortgage later and it contacted me and we uh, had quite a bit of conversation, probably around six hours, two hours, three different times, educating them on the product. So uh, what we did was they looked at it and what they qualified for, they're gonna to have to bring around $50,000 to the table to close. He's fine with that. He wants to take it out of his 401k. And when he does that, takes it out of the 401k, he'll just pay himself back. So he figures in four or five years, he'll pay himself back the money and then he won't have a house payment. And in his particular situation, he's in his 60s, he's still working part time, but this is to set him up for a lifelong retirement in the next three, four, five years, and she's not in the best of health. Fantastic. Well, when we come back, we'll finish that story and we'll get some more information from Ken Whelan. Uh, and folks, as you as you continue to listen to our broadcast here on every Saturday morning, starting at 11 a.m. on Mortgage Matters, right here on 94.3, we want you to understand that this this is a show, if, if you have a house and you're comfortable and everything, life is all good, tell your family, tell your friends. There's somebody in your circle of influence that needs this information. So uh, tell them to tune in every Saturday, 11 a.m. to Mortgage Matters on Knox Talk Radio. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking a little bit more with Ken Whelan and Whitney and Anna 
And Terry, I'm going to go ahead and cut it a little bit short right now. So uh, we'll be right back, folks. Great truth. Welcome back to Mortgage Matters from United Capital Lending with Roger McGee and Mike Raines. All right, welcome back to Mortgage Matters. Mike Raines, wherever you're at today, hope you're having a good day off. We miss you, brother. <laughs> welcome back to Mortgage Matters, folks. Uh, brought to you by United Capital Lending. If you've been tuned in to the first segment, you heard us talking with Mr. Ken Wheeland. Uh, we were talking just briefly about the re- product known as reverse for purchase, meaning that if you're a senior citizen, 62 years old or older, you could actually take advantage of a new home purchase with a little bit more of a chunk down payment, uh, probably somewhere between 40 and 50% down. You could actually retain that investment, that home with no monthly mortgage payment. What would that do to your future? Kenny, uh, we were just talking about uh, that and we also were talking about uh, a recent client that was doing working on a refinance. Where did you want to pick up from? Yeah, uh, just explaining to, a little further to the folks. I told that they, I'm sure they got the fifty grand. So it's fifty thousand dollars he would have to bring to the table because uh, in closing this, he we he well I'll just put the numbers out there. He qualifies for one hundred and twenty, and it was one hundred and seventy or so to pay the house off. Okay, right. so well, there's fifty thousand dollars difference. He elects to take the money out of a 401k, borrow it from himself, pay that off, and now he has no house payment. Now he can take that money that he put out for a house payment each month and pay it back into his 401k until he gets that money fully back into the 401k. It, he figures four or five years, uh, however he elects to pay that. And what he will do then, he won't have a house payment for the rest of his years. So, and then he'll quit his part-time job. So, the it's 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 too good to be true, is it not? No and house payment. The house is yours. You, that's what stays in your name. You know, it sounds too good to be true, but we see we see the benefit in families. And you know, over the years, I've seen many families take advantage of this. And one comes to mind. I won't tell the story again, but you sure. know, uh, the the thing that I feel is that. At the end of my working career, when I'm 70 years old, what I really hope I'm not having to do is have my wife and myself working every single day just to make ends meet and and having to take the money that I do have and spend it on things that I don't really want to spend it on. So in my mind, in retirement years, if you can absolutely take advantage of a product such as a reverse mortgage to help uh, your, your enjoyment factor in life, Make that higher. I think that that's a good thing. Kenny, uh, how do folks reach you, brother? 924-0807 is the best way. Myself, I'm on the road a lot. Feel free to call me anytime, 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock at night. Doesn't make any difference. 924-0807. Fantastic. Kenny, thanks for coming out today and uh, hang out with us if you want to and uh, chime into the conversation. Folks, a little bit of an update on uh, a coming change in the mortgage lending world and the real estate world for that matter is the upcoming TRID change on October 3rd. TRID stands for Truth in Lending, the TIL and RESPA Integrated Disclosures. We're going to have a new set of disclosures, but it's more than that. Uh, there's going to be some new time frames set onto your, onto your closing. In fact, one of the things that uh, is kind of upsetting some people's apple car is the fact that your closing documents have to be completely ready three days before you close. You know, you always have heard when you refinance a house, you have that three day of right of rescission after you close before your loan actually consummates. Well, in this case, the loan technically will consummate on the third day after your disc- uh, after your loan docs have been generated. So there's a three day cooling off period before you close, and then uh, that's gonna that's gonna challenge the market a little bit. And uh, you know, in, in our world, uh, things move really really fast. In our world, clients sometimes are really really slow in getting documents or correct documents to us, and and many times we're doing that 
dock and closing all on the same day and that's getting ready to change folks i'm letting you know that uh, if you need a source of information if you're a real estate professional or an investor out there you need this information we have a presentation packaged and ready to deliver to you or your team at a moment's notice so just call 934-1400 or catch me online at roger at uclknox.com i will get that information out to one of our agents and we'll schedule that meeting and get your training uh, set up and done. Uh, in the studio, I've got Miss Anna Whitworth from United Capital. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Now, when I was talking with you yesterday, uh, we were talking about some things and, and kind of the, the tune of, of the subject matter came to me as being prepared, okay? I'm a Boy Scout leader uh, and our Scout motto is be prepared. So when we were talking, you were saying that in many cases, clients are, are out there looking around and, and something trips their trigger, they see a house, they pull a flyer out of a box in front of the house and the next thing you know, they're in a contract to buy this house and they don't have no clue what they qualify for. Is that what you were talking about? I was okay actually. so uh, to, let's let's dig into that what what should people be doing people should be first and foremost they should be getting pre-approved okay uh, a lot of agents nowadays won't even show a property they might show show properties to you for one day but for the most part you need to know exactly where you stand on payment what you're comfortable with what things are going to cost uh, because time in this industry is very valuable and you know you need to know you need to put your mind at ease as well um, what I have been running into lately is for whatever reason a borrower has been out looking pre-approved with uh, maybe another company um, the agent gets a phone call from them they're like I'm pre-approved for this amount and so they they say well it's been a few months you really might want to call Anna check things out and when I repull their credit they've gone in and made all kinds of changes <laughs> change is not bad but um, when you're tr you're you're going out and you're you're getting furniture loans and taking out a Home Depot card and getting a new car payment you know that pre-approval letter that you once had uh, is no longer valid. Is, is now null and void exactly right? so you know it's kind of like the open door open policy you have to disclose everything to me uh, even if I pull your credit and there's not something listed you really need to tell me because you know I had a client last month and I pulled their credit and there was a credit card that showed up with no balance well they went back found a house we, everybody was good to go and I went ahead and did like an update just to make sure nothing had changed and they ran up quite a bit of credit card debt within the last month trying to get their house prepared to sell so and they bought another another toy which um, now, yes it threw a big wrench in things so uh, we just have to make sure that we communicate with each other um, and disclose pretty much everything to me so I can put a good plan together for you fantastic and you know the one of the things that I see uh, in this early stage of, of buying a home, you know, they're looking for a home, Whitney, and they're and they're out there marketing them, uh, looking at marketing materials, they're online searching, they're seeing interest rates, and when they call and they get that pre pre approval, that's pretty much all it is. It's just a, it's just is only as good as the paper it's printed on. You know, uh, without actually looking at income docs, most of the problems that I get involved with in the office deal with income situations exactly. where, where the customer said I make X number of dollars but when the documents finally come in it's a different story yep I've actually ran into that with with quite a few clients not counting payments when they should have been counted towards their budget and you know it's every company does have different guidelines and I, I probably I have about a 95% success rate in getting those back into good shape to where we can close on that but it just stresses me out well the, the best <laughs> and my client the best thing to do what I always tell our clients is if you're thinking about buying a house if the thought bubble is in your brain don't do anything else call United Capital mm -hmm. Lending uh, bring me your w-2s bring me your pay stubs bring me your tax returns bring me all of this information and we'll sit down and we'll figure out okay this is what uh, your paper says your income is not what you think your income is because there's a big disconnect there many times mm -hmm. and what allowable income can be used and whatnot so we'll tell you what your income is and then we'll take that number 
and derive what you can qualify for on a home purchase. And we'll give you the most you can qualify for. Many times, somebody, someone may qualify for a $1,000 a month payment, uh, but maybe they only want an $800 a month payment. That's what they have budgeted their life for. So uh, they're well under the money in that situation, but it's always better to know before you go in, especially if, if you're a real estate agent out there, you don't want to be showing someone 10, 15 homes if they don't even know if they're truly approved for a loan yet. There's a big difference in being pre-qualified and fully approved. Um, Anna, what other information would you like to share with folks before we cut to our next break? Really quick, just don't wait until you have a month left on your lease. Don't wait until you're having a baby the next month. Don't wait until you're getting married the next month. It's, it's all about timing, and our industry thrives off time. So if you have the idea in your, home, in your mind that you want to buy a house within the next six months or a year, now probably will be a good time in case we have to put a little bit of elbow grease into things and just in case next month you see that house that you want to buy that really struck your attention you know that yes i will be able to afford that home and you can put an offer on the table and feel very confident that it's going to close absolutely and you know i do say that if you're if you think you may want to buy a house next year today's the day that I want to talk to you because many times there is some extra work that needs to go into it. And you can do that by calling 934-1400 or going online to unitedcapitallending.com. Uh, when we come back, we're going to continue the conversation with Anna. We're going to talk some with Whitney and we're going to find out how Whitney buys houses. Stay tuned to More Mortgage Matters. We'll be right back. Interest-free radio and fixed-rate truth. Welcome back to Mortgage Matters from United Capital Lending with Roger McGee and Mike Raines. All right, rock and roll. We're back on Mortgage Matters. Thanks for staying tuned. Right here on 94.3 WNFC. My name is Roger McGee. I'm the general manager at United Capital Lending. We've been in Knoxville serving our clientele since July 1998 we just celebrated our 17 year anniversary here in knoxville yes i'm getting old <laughs> thanks for staying tuned uh, folks we have been having a great uh, couple of conversations first with ken whelan a reverse mortgage specialist he can be reached at 924-0807 at united capital lending 934-1400 and we started a conversation with anna whitworth who is one of our senior loan officers at united capital and uh anna and I and Whitney and Kenny, we were just having this conversation during the break that I think we should highlight right now because it's important. You know, it's uh, as a seller of a home, you know, the, the reality, reality is there's a lot of work involved. You're, you're keeping the house clean, you're, you're showroom ready all the time. And it's such a drain, you know, but the thing that you should also be working on during this time frame is making sure you're prepared and you're ready to buy your next house. You're ready to make your next move because it's pretty important, Anna. What, yes. what have you seen out there in that regard? What I've seen lately is I do a lot of marketing events and I'll talk to agents and they're like, oh, I'm just a listing agent. And I'm like, oh, perfect. And they look at me kind of crazy and I'm like, they say, well, I don't, I don't deal with buyers. Actually, you do. Your listing that you're going to get from this client, it's going to be potentially a buyer. Uh, or he could possibly have another plan in mind, but for the most part, and when you go to that, and when they go to that initial appointment at the home and they say, well, we need to do this, we need to paint this, we need to do this, they're failing to also mention that you need to get pre-approved on potentially what you could afford when you go out and we sell your home. They need to know in the back of their mind what they can afford. Things change financially for people. They, they move around, they lose, they, lose jobs uh, get better jobs uh, take out more debt so potentially you could lose that listing if things have really changed for that client so the perfect time to to, to discuss something like that and it wouldn't be as awkward is when you do go to that first listing appointment and you're talking to them and they're excited they want to sell this house and they're willing to do whatever it takes Th that pre-approval uh, conversation needs to come up just to make sure that everyone's on the same page and everyone is prepared and this happens about 50 50 percent you know about 50 50 in uh, in my history so Whitney I just wanted to let you know that 
In Knoxville, the average home is on the market for 54 days. So if you're going to a listing appointment and you're not talking about what their plan is in the next 60 to 90 days, you have missed a great opportunity to turn these sellers into buyers. And they need their pre-approval letter to buy something. They're going to be moving. And if you think about how fast 54 days can go by, in real estate, that's really quick. Mm -hmm. It's quick as a broker. It's quick, I'm sure, as a mortgage professional. So y'all need that paperwork in place. But the listing agents really need to plan on that house selling in 54 days. And they need to tell their seller that 54 days is the average day on market in Knoxville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so so while they're packing their boxes and yeah. getting their house ready to move out, they need to be preparing to move in and also getting ready for their mortgage. You know, uh, when it comes to go ahead, Anna, you got something. Else? I mean, I have a client that I'm working with right now, and and a sweet sweet lady. And at this point, she has already she sold her house. Actually, what's today? Wednesday sold her house today and went to closing, and now she's going to get movers to move into her daughter's house. Okay, put all of her stuff in storage, and she's, I mean, we've been, she's been looking for three or four weeks, but, I mean, who wants to move two times? Do you like to move? Heck no, I hate to move. <laughs> it's expensive, too, because you have to pay <laughs> the movers is. or your son or your dad yeah. or whoever. You a lot of buy, said, buy a lot of pizza, too, for your friends. Yes. You Pizza yeah. and beer. <laughs> no comment. I was going to say in a keg, <laughs> pony keg, but. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, fantastic information. And, you know, Anna can be reached at United Capital 934 1400 Monday through Friday. Uh, we do have uh, folks that serve uh, office hours on the weekend. So, uh, the, the <laughs> reality is, <laughs> we understand that, that life is busy. We understand that you have demands on your time, but making proper plans for your for your next financial move your home is probably one of the largest or for most people is the largest investment they will ever make so you've got to make sure that you put your ducks in a row and if you work with our company uh, i'll give you just a quick snippet one of the things that we try to do let's say you come in with a 700 credit score well you, did you know with a 700 credit score you're not optimizing your actual interest rate on a conventional loan there's a uh, there's a fannie mae pricing hit a, a, fa a actually fannie mae and freddie mac pricing hit with a 700 credit score but what we do for our clients is we'll look at your credit and we'll say you know if we dial it in a little bit tighter you pay this account down just a little bit or do x y and z we'll get that credit score from a 700 to a 740 thereby giving you a quarter better interest rate how many of you out there have closed on your home and you didn't have that conversation with your loan officer that's the kind of conversations we have with our clients every single day 934-1400 folks we've got a new sponsor of mortgage matters uh on saturdays mother earth meets is now located at the shrimp dock in farragut uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Mother Earth Meats, but I was over by there the other day, and I was blown away at the assortment of, of meats. It's not just steak and potatoes and things like that. They had caribou fillets. They had elk. They had ground antelope. Uh, um, just beautiful. It's all fresh, locally sourced, and, and grass-fed, beautiful, beautiful product. So go visit Mother Earth Meats over at the Shrimp Dock in Farragut. Uh, we, we're going to segue now to WhitneyBuysHouses.com. I've got this business card in my hand, and I need my shades on because it's so bright. So anytime you go around town and you see a bright fluorescent orange business card, you know Whitney has been there, right? <laughs> so Whitney, thank you for coming on to the show today. Why don't you just start out by telling us a little bit about yourself, and then we'll probably finish this segment up uh, shortly after that, and then we'll come back and talk really about your business and your business model. Well, thank you for having me here. I love Saturday sessions. Uh, that's what I call when I'm in the office on Saturdays, and I can get a lot done on Saturdays because everybody's in the mood to buy a house. Well, I'm in the mood to buy a house every day. And um, <laughs> I am a real estate broker. Whitney Buys Houses LLC is my firm name. I've also got an auction company, but I really specialize in helping people who don't want their house anymore. And it may be that they don't have time to list it and wait 54 days or six months or however long it takes to sell a house. Um, it may be that people inherited a house and they don't live in Knoxville and they want to just get rid of it quickly and go back to Washington or wherever they're from. I also deal with landlords sometimes landlords get tired of being landlords and they call me and I can take over a rental house or apartment or whatever they have that they just don't want anymore. How do they find you? I've got a website. It's WhitneyBuysHouses.com. I am working on some more lead pages so that 
anytime you are looking to get rid of something in Knoxville or Knox County or Jefferson County or any of the surrounding counties, then I pop up more. But right now, you can call me at 865-309-4500 or fill out a property information sheet on our website, WhitneyBuysHouses.com. Whitney, how did you get involved in, in this business model? I started flipping houses in 2009 with my mom and dad. And then in 2011, I decided that if anybody was going to be representing my mom and making a commission off of her house purchases, it ought to be me. Right. So I went to real estate school and got my license. Keep and it in the family, right? That's right. Thanks, that's mom. right. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Best customer ever. Um, but I went to real estate school and I worked with Powell Auction for a number of years with my auction license as well. And they were wonderful people. And then I went to school in Florida to learn how to buy houses myself instead of listing and showing kitchens on Sundays and doing all that traditional kind of real estate stuff. Right. So I've been doing that for about a year and a half. I just had my anniversary in July for one year in right. business. Thank you. I'm excited. Um, we had a little celebration on Facebook. I've got Whitney Buys Houses on Facebook and it's fun. I put real estate tidbits up there about every day and I put all of our houses up on the Facebook page and it's always fun when people share that. So tell me when you're out there looking for houses to buy, uh, sometimes people will contact you, but do you just kind of drive around looking around? How do, you, how do you go about your process when you find homes? I like certain neighborhoods. So I will tend to drive through that neighborhood several times and you'll notice houses that are vacant. They've got this layer of dust on the car in the carport or they've got last fall's leaves still in the gutter or they just they don't have any curtains or there's just a way if you start looking at houses you can tell which ones are vacant so right. i'll sometimes very often will hunt down the owner and i love summertime because there's always somebody mowing the yard once a week so if i can time it right and god will provide it right the lawn boy will know where the owner lives and i can go over there and say i want to buy your house really bad what can we make happen <laughs> And so when you approach these folks, what are they, I mean, you, my house isn't for sale, you know, so, so, but they're not keeping it up. This is part of the process that you're noticing. What are their situations? What are you learning about these families? The most recent house that I was just talking about, is actually in my neighborhood and I saw the lawn boy out mowing and I stopped and it was actually the man that lives across the street from me that owns this house. So I went and talked to him and just have a conversation. I say, you know, what's the deal? And he said, well, we haven't lived in that house in three or four years. We built this nice new house, but that house needs some work. It needs a kitchen. It's only got one bathroom and nobody wants to buy it. We tried to list it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I mean, I'll buy it if that's okay with you. And he said, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fabulous. How soon? And I said, well, you know, take me about a week to get my paperwork together and we need to go look at it and make sure that I can tackle it. But... We bought it in about a week. That's fantastic. So it, it, hopefully, I think probably there's a lot of people in the marketplace today that fit that description. Yes. You know, I myself, I moved back into the house that I tried to sell uh, on the lake in Friendsville. And, you know, it just wasn't the right time for the market. So I decided to move back in. But, you know, if there was an investor at that point in time in my world, I might have looked at that very, very seriously. So uh, how can folks reach you today if they are thinking about doing that? You can send me an email at WhitneyBuysHousesTN at gmail.com. Check out the website, WhitneyBuysHouses.com, or our office phone number is 865-309-4500. Fantastic. Folks, stay tuned to Mortgage Matters. We're going to be right back. We're going to hear more from Whitney and Anna. See you then. Interest-free radio and fixed-rate truth. Welcome back to Mortgage Matters from United Capital Lending with Roger McGee and Mike Raines. All right, welcome back to Mortgage Matters. Bringing you the latest and greatest when it comes to real estate finance in East Tennessee. Folks, uh, the market has been red hot this summer. 
had just a little bit of a flat week last week school starting back uh, but you know it's going to get busier and busier and busier as the mm-hmm. as years go on. So uh, having your team of professionals at hand, at your disposal, is going to be an important thing. Always remember, unitedcapitallending.com. Uh, we've been talking to Miss Whitney Nicely and Miss Anna Whitworth. And uh, so here's the questions. Do you have a house that's vacant? Do you have a house that needs repairs? Do you have uh, a divorce situation in your family? Do you have bad tenants? Are you behind on your payments? If any of these things you can you can relate to, giving Whitney a call may be a solution to your problems. Whitney, uh, tell us tell us how these clients will reach you. Give us your contact information, and then we're going to segue into a little bit of a joint conversation between you and Anna. There's several different ways to get a hold of me. I love social media, so Whitney buys houses is on Instagram, Facebook. We've got Whitney Buys Houses TN at gmail.com if you want to send me an email. Um, we're also on YouTube and Periscope. And anytime you see a pink sign that says Whitney Buys Houses, it'll have our phone number, 865-309-4500. 309-4500. Now, I know lately you and Anna have been spending some time together making these <laughs> videos. Okay, so fun. let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Well, when you get two real estate chicks together... <laughs> The um, nerdiness comes out of both of us, I think, and we spent a couple hours giggling, giggling, <laughs> and talking about real estate, and really at, like bouncing questions off of each other as to what kind of issues do I have when I'm buying houses, and then when I find tenant buyers or buyers to buy these houses that I've bought, and then what kind of issues does Anna have that I can help her with to prepare people when they go to talk to her to get their mortgage? All right, let's break that down a little bit, Anna. Let's talk right. about the latest releases. Latest release. Well, the, your, your videos. Oh, Which ones oh, have you okay. done? This morning, I put one up on YouTube. It's yeah. youtube.com slash Whitney Nicely. And it was talking about what if I have a cash business? What if I'm a bartender? What if I'm a hairstylist? Server. What, or a server. Yeah. Or, you know, there's, there's people out there that you know, have cash money and they don't have a regular nine to five. So can they get a mortgage? Mm-hmm. What kind of paperwork do they need? And Anna elaborated on that. Yeah, we, we had uh, a video on good credit, no credit, bad credit. Uh, you know, it's not the end of the road for you. No credit doesn't necessarily mean bad credit. So we had another one. Uh, what do I need to do to get pre-approved? Um, there's a slew of them. Uh, well, let's talk about that. Now, when you're when you're doing your thing, now, do you only buy houses, Whitney, or do you sell these things too some, from time to time? I will do a lease option, lease purchase, or rent to own. Is okay. a general term that people in the market know, and we do sell them. Uh, sometimes I accidentally have a regular closing, and people bring cash or a mortgage and buy the house that I'd planned on having for eight or ten years. Okay, so that's exciting, but that means I need to go get something else to play with for the next eight or ten years. Okay, so so you you're really fishing in all the ponds. You're you're yes. a real estate professional. You're you're listing properties too. I don't list properties like a typical listing agent. I'm not a typical buyer's agent. I've got my own little world that I play in, and I've got certain rules that I play by. I play by the normal realtor rules as a broker, but I also have different strategies than typical listing agent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. We won't let you talk about the secret sauce about your business because <laughs> I think it's a fantastic business model. It's unique. Uh, you probably have very little competition out there, and that's a really good thing for you. You just hit on something, though, that I think may spark a, a, an interest with folks. The cash income earners, the, the servers, mm-hmm. the, the waitresses, the, the bartenders, the, the hairstylists, those folks do sometimes and many times have trouble getting finance because they're primarily not preparing ahead of time. What did you say? What, what was the advice you gave them? Uh, cash is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it's really hard to count it as income, but it is perfect if it's in an account that, yes. that's just sitting in there. Uh, it's not bad that you make cash. I understand. I have tons of friends that, that you know, handle business and make cash and they make a lot of money. But in the lending world, everything has to be sourced. You have to have a paper trail. And if you can't, 
you know, if you can't give that to us, that's fine, but you're going to probably need a down payment sometime down the road. And if it's something I can't do and, you know, it's not cookie cutter, I'll flip them to Whitney. And I'm like, hey, I got a good deal for you here. They got they have tons of money. It's mm -hmm. just I can't get them approved. So. Now, if somebody brought a big sack full of cash into the office, you would have to have them put it into a bank account, right? Yes. And we would probably have to close. Uh, well, it needs to be in an account for 60 days. Um or produce a paper trail. I actually had this a client a that, that bought a piece of furniture from a yard sale, okay? Had over $100,000 cash in the top drawer. I couldn't, we couldn't do anything with it at all until 60 days. Then at that point we had to write a contract. Wow, you know, this is, a, this is highlighting the reason that you should get involved with your, with your dream, achieving your dream early. You know, if you think I wanna buy a house next summer, then you should be talking to someone at United Capital Lending today. Yeah. And we can help you get prepared and postured for that because just like right now, I think between right now and December, we're gonna see interest rates go up some. Well, if you think, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike right before that happens. But if you haven't been pre-approved and you you hadn't have your had your income screened, mm -hmm. you might miss the mark. And we see these situations like and, and as example right here, someone actually had more than enough money to buy a home mm -hmm. to put money down on a home, hundred thousand dollars in the top drawer of their house. Probably a lot of us out there like that. But, <laughs> Mine's but, under my mattress. But now, <laughs> but now if you've got to wait sixty days for that money to become seasoned in the bank, which it makes it usable for a mortgage lender you might have missed a contract on your dream home. Mm -hmm. It matters to get started early. Uh, Anna, Whitney, one more time, let's talk uh, about how folks can reach you all, and then we're gonna talk uh, final thoughts with Kenny. You can, uh, this is Anna Whitworth, you can reach me on my cell phone at any time. It's 865-679-9765. I also have Facebook and a YouTube account. It's Mortgage Chick One. Um, you could see some of my videos on there. The most important thing that I want to stress is you just have to make that first call. If you don't make a call, if you don't make that call, you're not going to get any kind of information that you could possibly need in the future to buy that home that you're that you've been eyeing. So give me a call 865-679-9765. All right, Whitney. Uh, again, it's Whitney Nicely with Whitney Buys Houses and Nicely Done Auctions. If you need to get rid of a house fast and you just need cashed out, give me a call. If you have tenants and you want to do some sort of owner financing, I love owner financing. If you have 10 acres, 15 acres, or 200 acres that you want to sell at an auction, I've got online auctions at acre.bid and Coming up in September, we have 215 acres for sale in Scott County. I call that the Meadema auction, so I'm looking for some green beans and mashed potatoes if you've got a smaller parcel of land that you want to sell at auction. Uh, my, my phone number is 865-309-4500. You can check out our website, WhitneyBuysHouses.com, and our email address is WhitneyBuysHousesTN, like Tennessee, at gmail.com. Fantastic. Mr. Whelan, you've been over there real patient, brother. Real patient. Look at Whitney's, Whitney's business card. We got a little time left. Pink. Here's my sunglasses. Pink. What final thoughts do you have for today? Financial sir? planners, give me a call. Uh, the New York Times just did a recent article, Using a Reverse Mortgage to Stretch Retirement Savings. Uh, we've done that. Uh, I've closed two in maybe the last 30 days that were uh, didn't draw any cash, and they kept it in a line of credit and strong 4.5%. So uh, there's several ways retirees or even pre-retirees can extend their savings when working longer is not an option. Just like this one we just talked about, he's bringing 50 grand to the table. He's got a plan. He's got a plan, a long-range plan. He's going to pay himself and then have no mortgage payment at all. Uh, real estate agents, let's look into reverse for purchase. It'll put you on the cutting edge of the technology of a mortgage. It is another option. Please, please, please call me and we can make it happen. Sit down and uh, you'll be the shining star. Fantastic. Whether you're a real estate professional, whether you're an investor, whether you're a home buyer or a home owner, United Capital Lending can become your best friend and your best resource when it comes to questions in those fields. Uh, whether it's a reverse mortgage, whether it's an investor, whether it's a first time home buyer, whether you're a homeowner and you need to get cash out of your home for improvements or, or other purposes, we are a one-stop shop. We are a local lender here in Knoxville, Tennessee, which means we lend our money, which means we underwrite our loans. We don't depend on another company for that. We're 
located between Knoxville, uh, Kingston Pike, and Parkside Drive, right over here at 150 North Seven Oaks Drive. If you know where Windsor Square is, you know where United Capital Lending is. Uh, we got a lot. We got some events coming up here in the fall. You're going to begin hearing about shortly. Uh, but uh, folks, make make no mistake when you when you sit down with a loan officer at United Capital Lending, you're going to make a relationship first, and then you're going to get your job done. We take all comers. If you've been turned down by a local bank, if you've been turned down by a local lender, if you're stuck in the quagmire of a loan process and you hadn't seen daylight for 60 or 90 days, you're in trouble. You need to call 934-1400, 934-1400. So on behalf of all the folks at United Capital Lending, on behalf of Ken Wheeland and Whitney Nicely and Anna Whitworth, we thank you all first and foremost for coming out and spending some time with us today. And folks, we thank you for spending some time with us today. We know if you're out there driving around, you probably just hit a a bit and piece here and there. Call 934-1400. We'll drill into your specific situation and find your solution. We'll see you next week on Mortgage Matters. You've been listening to Mortgage Matters from United Capital Lending questions after the show be sure to find them online at unitedcapitallending.com or call them anytime during the week at 865-934-1400 be sure to join us again next week right here on knox talk radio 94.3 wnfz united